subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss on how you can prepare for Microsoft Azure DevOps solutions. This exam requires DevOps professionals who are capable of combining processes, people, and technologies for continuously delivering services, and products that meet business objectives and user needs. These professionals must be proficient with agile practices in software development. So let's get started. Here you can see the list of topics we are going to cover in this video. We will start with the basic information required to begin your preparation, and then move on to the study materials and important topics which will help you in your preparation. Who this certification is for? 1. People with non-technical backgrounds such as those involved in selling or purchasing cloud-based solutions, and services or who have some involvement in cloud-based solutions, and services. 2. Anyone with a technical background who wants to validate their foundational level knowledge, around cloud services. Exam Details 1. Certification Code is AZ400 2. Exam Duration is 150 to 210 minutes 3. Number of questions is 40 to 60, one lab with around 10 subtasks. 4. Passing score is 700 out of 1000. 5. Exam cost is 165 US dollars. 6. Exam languages are English, Korean, Japanese, and simplified Chinese. Prerequisite. There is as such no prerequisite for giving the Azure DevOps certification exam. However, if you want to earn the Microsoft certified, DevOps Engineer Expert Badge then you have to clear either the AZ-104 or the AZ-204 exam additionally. Furthermore, there are other prerequisites that you should keep in mind, before appearing for the AZ-400 exam. Even though these are not mandatory prerequisites, they can improve your chances of qualifying for the exam. These are 1. Proficiency in Agile Practices 2. The ability for designing and implementing DevOps practices for version control configuration management, build compliance, release, and testing by leveraging Azure technologies. 3. Expertise in streamlining delivery through optimization of practices, creating automation, and implementing strategies for the application code and infrastructure. Type of questions. Below are the type of questions that you can expect. 1. Single choice questions, based on a scenario. These questions can neither be skipped nor be recorrected later on as you cannot go back once you've answered them. 2. Single choice questions. 3. Multiple choice questions. 4. Arrange and write sequence type questions. 5. Case studies with multiple questions. Course outline. 1. Develop an instrumentation strategy, which comprises a 5 to 10 percent weightage in exam. 2. Develop a site reliability engineering, SRE, strategy, which comprises a 5 to 10 percent weightage in exam. 3. Develop a security and compliance plan, which comprises of 10 to 15 percent weightage in exam. 4. Manage source control, which comprises of 10 to 15 percent weightage in exam. 5. Facilitate communication and collaboration, which comprises of 10 to 15 percent weightage in exam. 6. Define and implement continuous integration, which comprises of 20 to 25 percent weightage in exam. 7. Define and implement a continuous delivery and release management strategy which comprises of 10 to 15 percent weightage in exam. For detailed information, you can visit test prep training. Exam retake policy. First of all, if a candidate fails in the first attempt, he or she has to wait 24 hours before exam retake. Secondly, if he or she fails on the second attempt, then they should wait for 14 days to retake the exam. A candidate can take a maximum of five retakes in a year. With DevOps, whether you're working with Microsoft, Google, on-premises, or whatever, there's an assumed level of knowledge of both the developer side and the operation side, which also includes security. Very few people, outside maybe a very few unicorns, actually have deep knowledge in both at the same time. DevOps is hard for most because there's probably at least one half of that equation that's just completely foreign to you. It's a hard topic to cover. You're not going to become an expert with this overnight. So don't feel bad if you're struggling with any of these questions. Just continue to work at it. The AZE 400 is a challenging exam, but given time and effort, you can do it. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, 